Hello guys, my name is Sam and welcome back to the dark side of YouTube and in this video I'm going to be trying out something very interesting. It's going to be like a little bit of money making. I suppose you can use this as a guide for yourself if you have the right ingredients which we'll get to in the video. First off, I must give credit where credit is due. I was looking through the um, Swartar subreddit and I saw somebody asking about how to effectively use their Jawa junk to make money and I saw a response from Swartar Vega which was buying companion gifts and selling them would be an effective way to make money. So all credit goes to Swartal Vega because otherwise I wouldn't have really been inspired to make this video. So if you're watching this video, Swartal Vega, then uh, thank you very much for the inspiration there. Anyways, what we will do is we'll move over to my Legacy Cargo Hood because I want to show you guys my collection of companion gifts. And if you haven't seen this mount already, by the way, I did post this on Twitter. Uh, what's this called? Let me bring this up. It's called the Phyrosian Cruiser, I think that's pronounced. It looks really cool, like a very unique mount. And I found it in a tier four crit. I don't, um, I don't know why, but I find it really, really unique and cool. I know why I find it unique, because, you know, there's nothing else really like it, but sure. Anyways, if we just jump into my legacy bit and we move over to bit two, you can see my collection of companion gifts, which I normally just stockpile just for whenever I need them. So when I get companion gifts from, like, crit, so if it's, like, a purple or something from a crit, I'll probably not take it because I already have... Um, what I would consider an abundance. I know some people won't consider this an abundance, like, you know, having, you know, like stacks of them would be an abundance for sure. Um, but I do have some legendary ones. I just keep these back just for whenever I need them and I won't be selling these ones. So what I am going to be doing is using my Jawa Junk to purchase as many companion gifts as possible. Now you can see here that I don't have a lot of um, the Jawa Junk, the purple one anyways, um, because I have used that very recently to buy these at the Superior Resource Matrix. Anyways, it's one of those, or the strategic one, and um, for crafting purposes. And so I only have 71 of those. I have nearly 5,000 assort assorted droid parts, and I have over 4,000 scavenged scrap. Bearing in mind, I would probably have like double all of this, um, especially with the Jawa Junk. I'd probably have like near, near 1,000 of that if I hadn't have used majority of my uh, scavenge scrap or gel junk, whatever you want to call these, um, if I hadn't have used them for the crafting back in the Dark versus Light event, because I didn't spend a single penny other than just using those, getting all of my crafting uh, crew skills up. It was pretty um, pretty efficient in price. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to be coming over to the the uh, companion vendor, uh, companion vendor, the goddamn Jawa vendor, and we're just going to spend up all of this scrap. And I'm not even joking, I mean all of it. Because I'm not really finding a use for it, so I might as well just do it this way. So I don't want to buy the wrong companion gift. Um, I think it's just a particular one anyways. Um, just let me find it here. Okay, so here it is. It's called Routine Maintenance. And it's only going to cost me one for every one that I want to buy. So I'm going to be able to buy like nearly 5,000 of these. Let me get the exact number. Where is it? Is it 4,835? I think that is. Yeah, so let's just type that in. 4,835. Split the stack. Um, okay, so is it 4,600? It probably is. Sorry, guys. You know, the text on my screen is really tiny because I'm in a 4K resolution. I know I mention this all the time. I'm not bragging. I promise. That, did I still do something wrong? What's going on here? Um, let me take a look here. Okay, so I should be able to buy 4,635. Um, 4,635 split the stack, pop them in. Now, just really quickly here, actually, before we actually purchase these, you can see that if I was to just sell the actual junk itself, I would get like 700,000 credits. Um, I'm going to convert that into a lot, 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 lot more. So here we go, 6,000, um, sorry, 4,635. Pick those up, pop those in, cool stuff. Just used all of my sorted scrap. Now we're going to do the same thing with the others. Go to the artifact materials. Just need to find the companion, companion gift even. Here it is. I can buy 71 of these. There we go. I really hope I'm not going to regret this. I mean, like I said, I haven't um, found a, a different use for them. So having nearly 5,000 companion gifts might actually be worth it. Um, we'll see. So it's replacement parts that I'm taking here. And I can buy 4,045 of these. See, my only concern with selling these is going to be um, how many I can put on the GTN at once. I'm going to have to be careful about how I do that. Um, but that is basically going to be the point of this video. Like, how much money can we make from selling all of these? Now, this is obviously going to be like a two-part video. I don't mean I'm going to upload another part later on. Um, you know, I'm going to stop recording at some point once I put these up for sale, most likely, and then I'm going to come back once they've sold. Um, you know, 
depending on how many sold, I'll start recording again and I'll show you guys how much I made. And you know, going from that, we can see, is it worth it to do that? Is that like a good way to spend your um, Jawa scrap, your scavenge peddler crap? Just the thing from the Jawa vendors, goddammit. And you know, we can see if it's a good way to spend your Jawa junk. So yes, it'll be very interesting. So I'm gonna put these up for sale. So I'll just cut to that. I guess it's actually a smart idea to see what they're currently being priced at. So if you, if you filter the GTN from unit price, I can see that people are selling these for a baseline of 5,500 credits each. Now, I'm pretty sure I saw this the other day for 10,000 each. So I could have potentially doubled my money if I'd have done this the other day, but maybe not. Um, also, something I want to point out here is that um, this is going to be completely dependent on your own server okay i'm currently on the red eclipse so while they might be selling for this much on my server they could be selling for more or less on your own server if you are not on the red eclipse i mean even if you are on the red eclipse it might even be different by the time you try doing this yourself and um, so if i was to just bring up my calculator or something here i just bring this up so i can see this guy's got 50 and um, he's selling stacks of 50 for 275k and I have, let's just let's just round this to 4,500. So if we go ahead and do 4,500 divided by 50, um, that means this guy has 90 stacks of 50, which he is selling for 275,000. Um, and I'm just using this as like a little estimate, I guess. So we're gonna do 90 times 275,000. And that's gonna be a lot of, um, a lot of credits. Uh, so 275 thousand equals 24 million seven hundred and fifty thousand credits wow so if i sell all of these companion gifts for the same price as this guy then i'm going to get myself near 25 million credits wow that's um that's a lot of money. So we'll see We'll see how that goes. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen just yet. So let me get these up because I'm going to have to underbid this guy as well. I know it sucks, but I'm going to have to, I'm afraid. Um, so yes, let me put these up for sale. I'll show you everything once it's all up. And then I will um, cut to when everything has sold, hopefully. So as you can probably no doubt tell, some time has passed since the last bit of recording here. So I have put up all of the purple armor maintenance up for sale as well. Um, 22k a piece, selling in stacks of 510k, except for the odd one out here since we had 71 in total. And uh, that one's just selling for the 22k, of course. Now we have 13 pages on, on the GTN right now of just companion gifts, which is these routine maintenance companion gifts. 5,440 credits, each 272,000 credits, a stack of 50. And there is lots, lots and lots of them here, so... Yes, hopefully these will all sell and I won't have to deal with them in my inventory again because splitting uh, like nearly 5,000 companion gifts into stacks of 50 was a huge pain in the ass, not gonna lie. So I still have some more things to put up for sale here as you can see. And the green ones, I've still got 4,000 of the green companion gifts to put up, but these aren't gonna sell um, for too much. I'm not gonna be making loads of money from those, but it's still extra money nonetheless. And I'm gonna have to wait until some of my GTN slots um, ready to be used again or you know available and um, because i've used all 100 of my available slots so yes you can tell that there is a lot of stuff here to be sold so once that has happened hopefully once they've all sold and um, we will be able to put the rest up here and um yeah get everything sold um, and before anybody says why don't you just transfer to another character or just log out log back in to another character and sell them on those and um, well you know the reason is because i just want to localize the credits on this character um, just so I can keep track of exactly how much I made. And um, yes, also because I can't be asked, I guess. We're not putting too much effort into this. I just split a lot of companion gifts, okay? It's a huge pain in the ass, okay? Right, so next clip that you will see is most likely going to be um, from tomorrow. It's actually currently Wednesday for me, the 17th. So yes, I guess I'll do that. That's going to be fun, right? Why not? Okay, so see you soon. Okay, so we are finally back. It is now currently um 22 11 at night for me and it is the 19th and the last time i was recording was the 17th i know it's pretty weird um format of a video this um but whatever it's okay okay so everything has sold now if i just bring up the bar here you can see i've got 118 pieces of unread mail because i haven't opened any of the sales so everything has sold 
It has taken me roughly a day and a half, two days-ish, to sell absolutely everything. And um, bearing in mind, I was selling um, 9,000 companion gifts, or over 9,000 companion gifts. Was it over 9,000? I think it was somewhere near 9,000, but um, anyways, that's completely besides the point. So the purple um, companion gifts, I managed to sell those for roughly 22k each, and that's like, you know, for each individual one and not per stack. I did them in stacks of five. And um, the green companion gifts, I believe I did those for around 2,200 each. It could have been a little bit more of some different ones that came back after expiring. And the blue ones were sold for about 272,000 on average um, in stacks of 50. Now pay attention to how many credits I have now, which is pretty much exactly 7 mil, just a little over. And um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and check all of my mail and just get everything. Let's do this. Oh my god, okay. It did like a little jump. It did like a huge ass jump. Wow, look at this. Look at this. That is a lot of credits in my chat box right there. Wow, how much did we get? We got 30 million 900,000. About 30 million 930,000 credits. Holy shit. 30 mil. Oh my god. Okay, so I think it's fair to say that this can indeed be a very effective way to make some cash on the side, especially when you don't need to actually spend anything at all to get those credits. I'm um, sorry, to get, well, yeah, to earn those credits. Um, you, you can get all of your Jawa junk from your command crates, or you can get them from uh, cartel packs that you're picking up with your monthly sub or whatever. Um, yeah, so I guess this is um, a useful video after all. There is a lot of um, credits to be made, especially if you're on a different server where they are selling higher. That is something to keep in mind here. Um, so yes, this was a very interesting video, I guess. And now that we conclude with my new 30 million credits, I'm very happy with that, to be honest. Um, I wasn't expecting to get that much. Well, I guess I kind of was expecting to get that much because I um, kind of half calculated how much just the blue ones were going to sell for, which is something like 24.7 mil. Um, but that's all completely besides the point. It's, we've made a lot of money from doing this. Um, so if you have the Jawa Junk yourself, then go ahead and sell them if you're not using them for anything productive. Um, I mean, you might as well go ahead and just sell them, get yourself some extra credits and go buy yourself a nice new armor set or something. I don't know, go ahead and treat yourself. I'm sure that you deserve it. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure that you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.